you go, kiddo. This is a, it's a new thing for, for you guys. All right. First of all, I want I want to take this time to, to jump on the, the platform here and let's just talk about the. Uh, it's been a it was a really neat summer for you. So share with our listening audience about the road you've traveled this past summer, and how much you've grown spiritually. Uh, yeah, so I had the opportunity in May to head to Senegal, um, which is a country in West Africa. It was a month that challenged me, a lot of weekends, a lot of weekdays. Um, and I was actually there for a physical therapy internship, which I'm heading into grad school for that in May as well. Um, so it must be a thing with May, I don't know. Um, so while I was in Africa, I worked with patients in a clinic. I stayed with Brazilian missionaries and I think overall, if I could say the biggest thing I learned is that Jesus is so much bigger than what I could ever imagine. He's the same as he is in Africa, as he is here. And it just made me realize, and I wish I would have realized it sooner, that my platform that I've been given for basketball is so much bigger than just what's on the court. Um, I get to reflect Christ and do things for Christ on and off the court. Um, And it connects me with so many more people because I get to play basketball. And in doing so, I get to talk about Christ and reflect him in all my actions. Pastor Mark, (laughs) it's a powerful testimony. It is, and I I feel bad because I watched you play high school basketball and and didn't really get to know you. I've I've watched you grow up here at Bethel and I've heard all these things, but I don't feel like I've gotten to know you real well. Um, And I hear you say stuff, and I'm very close with the... One of your mentors, Sheila Dodd's a close friend of mine. Love and, Sheila. Yeah, the Sheila Nader. And so I've heard all about you. I hear all these stories from Sheila, but, uh, yeah, I sit here and I hear her talk. And, man, wh- what a – basketball's important, but you know what's more important. You Absolutely. Get, you, and you got it right. So I, thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. One thing uh, I'll never forget, uh, a former lady pilot uh, um, told me one time that uh, when basketball was taken away from her, she felt like uh, there was an emptiness in her heart. Um, and then she realized that what she had done is she had made basketball her mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. And that had become an idol. And that uh, at that point in time, she went through a metamorphosis, if you will, and, uh, in changing her life and to change her spiritually. So, uh, and, and that's kind of the case in point to what you're talking about. All right, now l- let's talk about basketball. All right, so we're going to get off that. Uh, even though we could talk about it for forever, we really could. All right, uh, it, it's been frustrating. Uh, I could tell it on your face. Uh, you got hammered out there tonight several times, but you've always kept it cool about yourself. Uh, you know, you're you're playing with a bunch of young gals. You're the senior yeah. spokesperson of the group. Everybody's looking to you. You can lead on the floor. You can lead in the locker room. Which one is the most difficult to do? You know, it's a mix of both. On the court, you have the moments, and it slipped up a little bit tonight for a good one-minute span when I got cracked down here. Yeah. Um, it's really tough when you're pouring in day in, day out to try and get a different result than what you've been getting this season. Um, so to continue to be positive and encourage these girls and say, look, I know it's frustrating right now, but you guys have three. Some of you still have two more years. You continue to put in the work, you're going to see the results. We may not see it now, but it's going to come if you continue to choose the hard thing. Um, but off the court's just as difficult some days. I mean, tomorrow, going back to my girls after we just lost a game that I really feel we should have had, um, it's going to be hard to have a smile on my face to be encouraging. But I know it's the right thing to do, and I know it's the thing that is going to leave a lasting impact because before I know it, I mean, in less than two weeks, I'm hanging up my jersey, I'm tying up my shoes, and uh, it's time to continue to move on. So the more important thing isn't what's on the scoreboard. It's making an impact on these girls. I want them to remember me as a teammate who, through difficult times, I was encouraging. Because I think, truly, that's when character shows. It's easy to be a good person and be positive when things are going well for you. But when you've lost game after game, to continue to be a positive impact, I mean, that's true character right there. So. Right, no question. That mountain, that mount, it would be really neat if need of God would allow you to go from mountaintop to mountaintop to mountaintop experience. Oh, but yeah. It's the only time you grow is when you're in mm-hmm. those valleys. So from the time you walked in here to the Mishawaka campus, to where you're at right now. And our final question, Kate Winnell Sasser, in what area have you grown the most? Is it academically? Is it spiritually? Is it athletically? Is it ever the aspect of your of your being, or is it a combination of all of them? My, by far and away, spiritual. Um, I was gone a little bit in high school, and I was here and there. I didn't clearly understand, but through Bethel, um, these four years, I haven't been perfect. By far, I haven't been perfect, so I'm not. Um, but I have an understanding of how to live the rest of my life 
and look back on it at the end and say I did it right. I'm going to have days where I fail and that cross is going to be heavy to pick up, but I know I'm going to be able to look back and say because I chose to go to Bethel, even if basketball didn't go the way I thought it went, I mean, we've gone through three coaching changes since I've been here. Um, I would never regret the choice of coming to Bethel. It's changed me by far and away the person that I am today. Congratulations, yeah. kiddo. I, I hope that uh, as you go out and you know finish grad school, I hope you find time to become a coach somewhere oh. and, and, sh and yeah. share that passion, get that into your, you know, whether it's a church, a Y, a Boys and Girls Club, you know, if it's not what you want to do as a profession, uh, because you have a chance to really impact a lot of people. Keep yeah. it up. You've, Im you've, impact you. you've impacted us, kiddo. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Caitlin Elsasser joining us here on the Post Game Show. Folks, that's the reason we do what we get to do.